XPRO is the leading provider of in-riser subsea safety systems for completion and intervention operations on horizontal production trees. Before completing a subsea well, a drilling rig is placed over the well centre and the drilling operations are conducted. The horizontal production tree is prepared and deployed from the drilling rig using a specific tree running tool which is run on drill pipe and guided by guide wires between the rig and the wellhead. The horizontal production tree will be lowered until it's just above the wellhead. All of the subsea infrastructure will be inspected by a remotely operated vehicle or ROV which is controlled from the rig and gives real-time images from its cameras to the operators on board the rig. The horizontal production tree is then landed on the wellhead, utilising the support from the ROV operator and is locked into place hydraulically via a control umbilical from the rig. The connection between the horizontal production tree and the wellhead is pressure tested to confirm its integrity. When all testing is completed, the tree running tool can then be disconnected and retrieved to surface. The rig will now prepare to install the Subsea Blowout Preventer, or BOP, system. The BOP is deployed from the rig with a marine riser, which provides a closed circuit between the BOP on the seabed and the rig at surface. The marine riser also provides the conduit during any intervention into the well, during drilling and completion operations. The BOP will be run until just above the horizontal production tree. This operation is very similar to that of landing the horizontal production tree on the wellhead, in that the ROV operator will provide support and guidance while the BOP is landed out. The BOP is then locked in place on top of the horizontal production tree by locking the connector hydraulically from the rig via a control umbilical. The connection between the BOP and horizontal production tree will be pressure tested to confirm sealing integrity. With the BOP locked and tested, the completion will be deployed into the well using the XPRO landing string assembly, or ELSA, to land the tubing hanger. Now that the tubing hanger has been landed into the horizontal production tree, the tubing hanger is functioned to the lock position hydraulically via the landing string umbilical. The BOP has several sets of sealing rams internally. A single set of these are closed around the XPRO integral slip joint to allow an annular seal to be formed. The ELSA assembly will also be configured within the BOP stack so that the BOP shear rams can be closed above the subsea test tree in an emergency situation. The subsea test tree comprises two independently controlled fail-safe ball valves and an emergency disconnect system. Also within the XPRO landing string, you will find a retainer valve and lubricator valves. Like all other landing string valves, the subsea test tree is controlled hydraulically from a control module on the rig via the landing string umbilical. The hydrocarbons from the well will flow up through the XPRO landing string and back to the well test package on the rig.
the subsea test tree can be closed to isolate the well at seabed level, providing a gas-tight seal and containing the hydrocarbons below the closed valves. With the subsea test tree closed and the well isolated, the emergency disconnect latch can be disengaged to allow the landing string above the subsea test tree to be retrieved. The retainer valve is closed to retain the hydrocarbon column above the valve and then to vent any trapped pressure between the subsea test tree and retainer valve. The subsea test tree would then unlatch and be raised clear of the subsea test tree valve section. This can be to allow the passing of bad weather or to disconnect from the well in an emergency situation. After the emergency conditions have been controlled, the subsea test tree latch section can be reconnected to the valve section and the retainer valve reopened. The interface between the latch and valve sections of the subsea test tree can be pressure tested against the upper subsea test tree ball valve to prove sealing integrity before the ball valves on the subsea test tree are both reopened. To suspend the well, wire line can be run through the landing string to set a tubing hanger crown plug. The plug is set and pressure tested before the wire line running tool is retrieved to surface. Now that the well has been suspended, the BOP pipe rams are opened from around the integral slick joint. The tubing hanger running tool is then unlatched from the tubing hanger and the full landing string is retrieved to surface. Once the landing string is retrieved to surface, the tree cap can be run and locked into the Christmas tree if required. The BOP connector is then unlocked from the horizontal production tree. Once unlocked, the BOP and marine riser are all retrieved to surface. The horizontal production tree is now in position with a fully functional completion installed. The horizontal production tree will be connected to a production manifold, allowing hydrocarbons from the well to be delivered to a production facility.